Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Howdy folks, this is Down with Mr. Truck TV and today we are talking to Matt O'Leary about the, about the company called Motive and what they're doing to electrify heavy duty and medium duty trucks. Mr. O'Leary, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great, Dan. How are you? We are doing just duck and stuff. Quack, quack. So, what, uh, what do we got here today and uh, what's so special about it? Okay, so I'm from uh, Motive. Our, our mission is to free fleets from fossil fuels and we do that by providing software and power electronics to electrify chassis like this uh, epic Ford F59 chassis. Um, and what we have here today is our fifth generation product, um, which has our lithium ion batteries from BMW, and it also has our ABC, which is our advanced battery controller um, that eliminates uh, what we traditionally had was uh, one power controller for each battery. Now we have one power controller for all batteries. Um, and the savings relative to the prior design with sodium nickel batteries is over 600 pounds. That means more payload for our customers, which is very important. And uh, what exactly is a, uh, an F-59 chassis? What kind of vehicles would you say that would transform themselves into? So F-59 chassis are used by a number of different bodybuilders, uh, as you can see here. Uh, it could be anything from uh, step-in vans to uh, school buses, um, uh, shuttles, and so on. Work trucks, box trucks. Expanding. Well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the girls. Sure. See what y'all done this night. So this is uh, this is the motor. Um, up here is our adaptive battery controller. Um, this box up here. So one single box that manages all three batteries. So are you going to keep these labels on there for the folks that work on these things after uh, the fact? No, not likely. <laughs> so, so over here is the J1772 port. That's the charging port. That's a standard okay. uh, port that's used for, uh, for charging, uh, for level two charging. And then you have uh, two of the batteries here that are um, put side by side in the vehicle. Very efficient design. Again, BMW batteries, so very good in terms of reliability and power and performance, uh, so for range. And then as you walk back here, you can see the third battery uh, that we've placed here as well. So total combination is 126 kilowatt hours of power. And in most applications, it'll get um, just over 100 miles range. It really depends on the application. And uh, how much power and torque is that thing putting out compared to a gas job? Um, well, these things are pretty torquey because you've got an uh, electric motor. Um, so I don't have those figures. Um, but you know the drivers that get in this thing say it's uh, they're really pleased with the performance. They didn't expect it to be that um, zippy in terms of acceleration, or that smooth in terms of how it drives. There's no transmission, um, so it just goes straight from the motor, um, nice and smooth. It's quiet. You don't have diesel fumes to worry about anymore. And the other thing is these things have uh, regenerative braking. So if you lift your foot off the accelerator pedal, it'll actually start slowing down uh, the vehicle. Okay. okay. And, and what the drivers experience at the end of the day is they don't have this lift over going from the accelerator pedal to the gas, right? And getting, um, that's a lot of work to do. And at the end of the day, they feel less tired. They're not doing this step over onto the brake. They're not smelling the fumes. Um, and they're not hearing all the noise. So the drivers love getting in these vehicles. Now is, uh, is there a certain, can you have different levels of uh, regeneration? Uh, yes, the regeneration can be adjusted. Uh, most of the fleets like to make them pretty aggressive, but what we tend to do is work with the drivers and get it to a level that they're comfortable with. 
Um, the more regen you have, the more energy you can recapture, and therefore the longer range you have. So you want to have the right balance there. Now, uh, I know it's not just batteries that go into having such a fuel efficient vehicle. Is there anything special as far as tires to try to find like the low rolling resistance to make these things go further? Um, we go with the tires that, um, that Ford provides because they have all the prove out on rolling resistance and traction, traction ability. Um, and, and that's what our customers like. But, but Ford and other manufacturers are always looking at ways to improve rolling resistance, yet still keeping tractive force for braking. Outstanding. Well, Mr. O'Leary, it's been a great day. Real honor to have you here. And uh, we appreciate, hopefully we get to see these things out rolling around and uh, out delivering. And hopefully uh, they got a really nice loud horn so we can hear them. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, Dan. Thanks a lot. Well, y'all, this is the Motive uh, F59 chassis. And that's about all for, for Mr. Truck. I think so. Right? So y'all have yourselves a great day. Be safe, and we'll catch you on flip. Bye-bye.